Toon Plays here, back in another video. I hope you guys are doing great. It has been just a bit. Uh, we actually just left off with the Game Pass boards. Um, I'm so happy you guys are here with me today. Um, and yeah, so today we're going to be looking at audio visualizers. Uh, <laughs> that was a long word. Now, um, as you can tell already, this is what it is. Uh, it isn't a basically a... Sorry about that. So it basically is a visualizer that uh, doesn't have to do with effects or particles or anything like that. Um, so yes, I am not going to be doing that. Like I'm not going to be doing a, uh, visualizer kind of type of thing, uh, with the effects. I might with this, uh, part of emitters, I'm going to look into it, but, um, right now I have the parts that just glow and everything that I've, other people have. And it also moves and stuff like that. Um, but I also do have one more. Let me test it out real quick and add it. So if you can kind of tell my screen is moving now, look at the, if you can see how my screen's kind of moving and it's having a little pulse. I'm gonna zoom in. Maybe it's it's kind of hard to look at, but on the lights, if you see when they glow, there's like that pulse with the screen. You can probably turn this up. Yeah, see, there we go. See how there's that pulse? So I'm gonna show you guys what we have for these scripts and how they work. Uh, it's pretty sick. Um, and uh, it's it's another good thing you to add to your game. And I really I really do think it's it's pretty dope. So um, but that's something you add. So we're gonna look into this and uh, yeah. So. But before we start this video, feel free to subscribe, click that notification button. Uh, we actually do have 3.5k subs, guys. That is amazing. I mean, so much to me. Um, and also, join the description. It is in the uh, join the Discord is in the description. Um, and uh, yeah, we're doing giveaway at 5k subs, so that that's gonna be cool. Join the group. Also, that's uh, another thing. Uh, I actually rank a lot of people on my live streams and uh, something to just be cool and just sign for the Roblox group and the community. Uh, but yeah. Thank you again so much, guys. Okay, so we're gonna look into this. Uh, I'm actually need to make it a model. So let me pop this and uh, make it a model so you guys can grab it. Um, but right now, I'll just pause it in a second here. Right now, go in the description, look for models, and basically look for that link that says uh, audio visualizer. You're gonna click it and you're gonna hit claim and you're gonna get that. So let's get into that. Okay, so like I said, go in the models, look for audio visualizers, and it's going to pop up this link, and you're going to click claim, and you're going to get item owned. Now, once you have this, you will be able to basically get the everything. <laughs> so you're going to have all the audio stuff. Sorry, I don't know what I was pausing there for. Um, but yeah, so you're going to have that, so make sure to grab that, and you're going to insert it to Roblox Studio. How you're going to do this is you're going to go to model, ah, well, home, toolbox, go to your toolbox, click inventory, and it'll say audio visualizers, because this is in your inventory. So now you have this, it is going to insert a model, and it's going to look like audio visualizers. Now it should insert in workspace, I don't know why, I was just starting there. Um, but we're going to show you. So in here, there's going to say ungroup and start a character script, start a GUI and workspace. You're going to grab this, go into here and right click that says ungroup right here. And you're going to ungroup it in there. This is going to be the audios folder. And then you're going to go to start a character scripts, which is all the way down here in starter player down to start character scripts. This is going to be the audio visualizer. So ungroup it there. And then we are going to grab the starter GUI. This is going to be the main thing for visualizing how the parts move up and down locally. So that's that you're going to remove the other rest of them and here it is so there's basically three parts audios uh sound parts and audio visualizer so those are good to look at uh, but yes so we're gonna actually look at audio visualizers real quick i actually didn't make this so we're just gonna look at this real quick and how it works uh i think if i know how it works so let's look into this um i'm, I'm gonna have to guess it's because it's one thing um so i kind of forgot to tell you guys this is the one thing now, it, you guys probably might have a different local sound script or sound like music player. Now, my music player was this one and it's it's not random. It's just playing all these sounds in order and it's going to be going to the workspace. Um, now, what we're doing is we're finding the workspace sound. Okay, that is the music. I'm going to be making a new radio system. So I know there's a lot of comments, man. There's a ton of them. And I'm like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to be doing a radio system. So don't worry about it. But you have to have a sound in your workspace so if you don't have a sound then this isn't really going to work at all because um it's it, you have to have this one sound in the workspace and it's better to have one sound in the workspace guys because you can change so much to it with one script and like the radio system that is what we're going to be doing that is what we'll be doing like straight up so what we're doing is we're grabbing the sound and we're grabbing the player's camera and we're grabbing these FUVs in volume. So now this is where you can change the things. So these are the settings. So FUV is like the length of going 
out like spread out if you want to search it up you can um and then the volume you can change this to lower you can change this to higher those are your things just mess with it and i'm guessing we're basically gonna just do this in general so we're gonna be grabbing their character's camera and we're gonna look for the sound now if the sound played by cloudness so this is the main thing for literally all the scripts to this play by cloudness is grabbing what we're grabbing to make sure we can change the things because that's what we're needing to do. So we're gonna grab it, divide it by a thousand it looks like, and we're gonna grab the field of view and change the person's field of view. So that's that's what it looks like at the moment. Um, looks like we're just grabbing their field of view and we're basically changing it every time the loudness is a certain level. And this is the same thing with the sound script. So yeah, that's that for this one. Um, kind of simple, this is more, advanced scripting i'm not really into uh sorry guys i'm not really into tweens and cameras so i'm sorry guys that is very true i actually just got noticed in the sound and also i got helped by str roblox who's also making my thumbnails so thank you to him uh he's the one who helped me out with these kind of scripts not like this in general just learning and giving me a hints about the sound back play back on this and i just searched it up so yeah that's another reason how you can search up scripts and learn so we're gonna go to start ui and we're gonna look at this actually you know what let's go to the other one because this is where we're gonna be making parts we're gonna add a new one so let's do this so inside here we have two things right now or we have a bunch of things we have audio audio 5 audio 4 audio 3 and then we have vibe sign now this is the vibe sign right here and this is what we're grabbing in here and there's not all these part names now how this is gonna work is you're gonna if you want to make something new okay let's say these parts over here we want to make a six one, okay? And we're going to do that. We're going to hit duplicate, and we're going to change this to audio six, okay? Make sure to do that. You're going to grab the move button. Let's move it, and we'll move it down here, okay? Now we have audio six. Sorry, okay, a lot. <laughs> and that's how that's doing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to close this. So we're going to close those out, and we're going to go to sound parts. Now, guys, this is, like, crazy how we're doing it, and I hope you understand what I mean because this is, like, not the easiest way. And we're going to do this. So we're going to copy and paste this. And we're going to paste it right here. And we're going to go size x6, size x6, position x6, position x6, position x6. And we're going to go position part 6. And then we're also going to go part 6. We're going to go part 6. And then we're also going to go part 6. And we're going to go part 6. And also what we're going to be doing is going up here. See how it's like this? And we're going to go local part six equals game dot workspace dot audio so we're going inside this folder and we're gonna be grabbing uh dot audio and then see how there's these pop up six now like i said you can see how i did vibe sign that is because it is inside another model that you get into get inside and then go tar two so you guys can do whatever you want to do just mess around with that but you like i said guys you have to do every single part so it's a little confusing but you do have to do it um and i'm going to show you real quick so the vibe sign okay we have part seven part eight part nine ten ten so right we have part one through six okay we do not have a position x and y and we're creating these new position x and y's because they're all different they aren't like the same parts uh so that's why we need to do that so they aren't the same position so we're creating all these new locals and it's it's kind of simple but it's kind of confusing and we're going to go in here and right below part five we're going to copy and paste and go part six part six and we're going to go into here, size 6, size 6. So any of the numbers that you see that have like a 5 at the end, change it one more up. Like any numbers you, know, you see, just change it one more up while you're done. And then if you do have an error, like it's going to be red underlined, then it'll you'll know that you don't have that local already. So you got to go up here and add it. So like I said, this is good. We're done with that. Um... So that's kind of simple, but I kind of didn't really explain it, but we need to create these locals. So like I said, you need part 10. So always make a part and it's going to just be located in like this kind of simple looking to understand. These are like the main ones with the sizes. Um, but what we're doing again is render step. So local loudness is that one sound and workspace right here. And we're grabbing the size you meant by doing loudness divided by 60. And then we're going to be creating these new vector positions and all these ways that they're doing. This is what we're doing to make it go up and down. That is up and down. So right here, it, so let's just say this. If you want your parts to move, okay, the, the little bars, if you want bars to move, you're going to be putting stuff right here and you're going to be putting stuff right here and also make one part local up here. If you don't want to, you're just going to be making this like this. So you're going to just have your one parts and then you're going to be adding it in here. So now what we're doing is we're checking if the loudness is lower than 50. 
okay? Or higher than 50. If it's higher than 50, we're going to change it to neon. This is what makes it look really cool. Now, you guys can do whatever you want. And the reason why we're doing this, grabbing all these new parts also, is because we want to change them. We want to change new colors. We want to have a bunch of new things that make these look sick. So, if the loudness is over 50, then we're changing it to neon. Else, so if it goes below 50, so once it's over 50, it's going to be neon. Once it goes below 50, it's going to be black. That's why I was showing you at the beginning of the video. You can see that it was going black and blue, black and blue, black and blue, because it was changing it every time. So what we need to add, since we just made part six, is we're going to copy and paste one of these, and we're going to go right here, and we're just going to go part six. So we're going to do that, part six. And then we're also going to go all the way down here, and we're going to go part six, part six. Now, this is where you can change your colors. You can change the, uh, you know, yeah, colors, any, anything you want. You could also do a gradient. I'm pretty positive that's possible, uh, like a sequence, but we'll have to see about that. So basically, as you can see, there's the new brick colors and uh, brick colors you can go just by looking on Roblox, search up on Google, brick color colors or whatever. And we're basically creating a new brick color for each part and we're setting the material to neon and then we're sending it back to plastic and setting it to zero, 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 which is black. And then, you know, 22, let's say 2525, you know, 20, 255, 255, 255, that's white. I kind of am used to colors because programming wise. So, um, and then this, so this is guys, this is red, this is green, this is blue. So if you want all blue, you do 250, 0, 0, 255. If you want all green, 0, 255, 0, all red, all that jazz. Uh, but um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, it's just a lot of like weird code looking at it. There could be another simpler way, guys. This is just another ugly scripting format. But um, in the end, like I said, you should be getting a audio reacting parts. Now, I'm going to try my best to make things really cool and for these future upcoming tutorials and the way they look but um yeah you guys i don't know what else to say rather than that thank you for everyone pitching in um a lot more coming but uh i hope you did enjoy this video go and feel free to watch all my other videos and i hope you did enjoy as you can see part six is over there so it is working let's go boys great job we did great uh, i hope you did enjoy this tutorial please comment like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in the next one bye